I'm joined now by senior captains Adam Purdy and Cabell Mannix. Guys, thanks for being here. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, guys, you, uh, you had a busy week, as Brian uh, pointed out to us earlier. Um, Saturday, you guys had a bit of a setback. As captains, knowing that you had a game the next day, the following, next day, Sunday, what did you feel was your responsibility to get the team in the right mentality for the next, uh, next opponent? I mean, Saturday was tough, you know, losing, especially the Tufts in a second NASCAT game, but we knew that we had to come out in less than 24 hours and play a game that is, if not, I mean, probably bigger than our Saturday game. We had to bounce back, and we, I think we did that. And we played better on Sunday, and our goals haven't changed. We still want to win NASCAR, want to go to the national tournament and try to compete and win a championship. So I think we got back on track doing that on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, I think that um, uh, we could, at that point, um, you know, reflect back on that and, and think about things we could have done differently and also um, not worry so much about uh, playing not to lose. Um, we could, you know, be excited about playing to win, um, not worry about making mistakes, um, and, and, you know, go back out at, at it Sunday and, uh, and get a win. Yeah, Adam, you mentioned the team goals for the upcoming year. You had a terrific season last year, didn't end quite the way you wanted it to. What's the, uh, the approach to practices and just the, the team hunger this year? Yeah, I mean, this year our roster is smaller than it, than it usually was. I think we have 24, 24 guys in the roster, which makes practice way more competitive. I think it makes us more ready for the games. And I mean, we've had about eight starting seniors this season. We've had two pretty good seasons, one not so great. But, I mean, I think we're all hungry. We want to get past what we did last year and our freshman year. I think that's definitely helping this team grow. And, Cabell, I know... Uh Speaking with you guys earlier that it's been a little bit of a shuffle in the back line with you. Uh, you guys had an injury, I believe, early in the season and uh, had a unique situation bringing up a player from the B squad to fill in. What's that been like and how's that transition uh, gone? Yeah, I mean, we had, um, I think, two days uh, before our uh, uh, first game against Bowdoin. Um, our left back, Chris Lee, uh, who uh, had just come back from a torn ACL, um, last spring um, just was was shooting a ball and felt something in his knee and uh, uh, it turns out he's he's retorn it even though he's uh he's gonna try to play on it uh, again but um, we brought up uh, a freshman Ben to lot uh, who had been on the on the um, reserve squad uh, initially and he came right up uh, practice one day before the Bowden game and, and really, uh, I thought, brought a spark in the first half of the Bowden game. Yeah, knowing that as a central defender that you have a younger player uh, lining up next to you, do you take on any extra um, res uh, feeling of responsibility in a game knowing that there is uh, a younger player out there? Well, I think the biggest thing is we uh, really made an effort to make sure he had a lot of confidence going in. Uh, he's a He's a great player, and um, you know if he has confidence and um, uh, goes in hard every every tackle, uh, like he usually does, um, he was going to be fine. Yeah. Now, guys, you moving forward, you have a game on the road this Wednesday. Uh, you, uh, what are your uh, what are your thoughts and preparation getting ready for uh, for that game? I mean, Wednesday's a huge game. It's at a conference, so it's big for the uh, at large bids for the end of the tournament. I mean, we kind of have to have the same mentality we had after our game on Saturday, kind of forget about Sunday, it's over, we won. Now we have to keep moving forward and we have to win the rest of these games. So we kind of focus on winning the week. So winning on Wednesday and we'll move forward and focus on the game Saturday against Williams, which is a huge game as well.